Welcome to Popular Cruising. You're watching our review of Uniworld Boutique River Cruise Collection's Joie de Vivre. The luxury riverboat experience is all-inclusive, ashore as well as on board. Starting with its comfortable accommodations, like its entry-level Category 4 and 5 staterooms, with a narrower outside window, and smaller but still nicely configured bathroom. Larger in size are Categories 1 through 3 staterooms, with handsome artwork, and teddy bear approved amenities. In fact, Uniworld's plush beds are some of the most comfortable I have ever enjoyed, on a cruise or on land. At the foot of the bed is a television integrated into the mirror with plenty of free on-demand choices, as well as lots of drawer storage and counter space. Thankfully, there are also standard electrical outlets and USB charging ports, in addition to controls for the sliding patio window. While it's somewhat unfortunate these cabins have no true veranda, being able to electronically open a screen and window to the outside is still nice, to enjoy beautiful pastoral views like these, or even metropolitan vistas of none other than Paris. And at least for going a balcony, allows for more space in the bathroom, including always welcome L'Occitan amenities, plus a heated floor and towel warmer that can be turned on or off as desired. Of course, the shower with a square footprint is thankfully easy to maneuver in, and features a lovely hand wand and rain shower head. Still even bigger in size are the ship's suites, with a more expansive bedroom, and an even longer bathroom facility. But the creme de la creme on board is the presidential suite. with a completely separate living room, plus a master bedroom, marvelously facing outside. And of course the bathroom is palatial to match, with a shower and a bathtub. Regardless of accommodations, the guest laundry is conveniently available to use. But everything else on board is located down the cabin corridors. And the hub of activity begins at the reception area. Crowned with a beautiful atrium and chandelier. As well as a double staircase and glass elevator. And of course you can't miss the unicorn. Here's also where you'll find desks for other personnel on board. As well as some opportunities for shopping. Besides logo items, there's also a bit available in the way of jewelry. A little less opulent and wonderfully vintage on board is Salon Toulouse. serving as the ship's observation lounge and main social gathering space. The only downside here is that the perimeter couches face inwards instead of out. Nonetheless, it remains a well-designed space for daily briefings. And you've got to love all the classic artwork. especially the posters leading to the riverboat stern and Club L'Esprit. A stylish secondary bar and home to the ship's swimming pool complete with a resistance jet for simulating laps and a starry night ceiling above. But perhaps the coolest thing about it is how the floor can be raised up to give the venue even more usable surface area at night before lowering back down to become a pool again in the morning. And just next door is the Serenity River Spa 
for other forms of rest and relaxation. Or if you feel inclined to burn off some calories while on board, there's also the Scenic Fitness Center. Meanwhile, back at the front of the ship outside is an observation deck with benches and blankets to enjoy. And off the side are the promenade decks used for embarkation and disembarkation as well as stair access to the sky deck where you'll find the greatest amount of outdoor seating with the same views as the navigation bridge. And plenty of shade if you'd prefer. Heading astern, there are other great vistas to be had at the back of the vessel. As seen from the Club L'Esprit Terrace. Another bonus observation lounge. With cozy wicker chairs. And the ship's fantastic complimentary candy bar. With some fruit thrown in for good measure. Of course, for more substantial food selections, you'll just have to go down a level to start at the main restaurant. Altogether, the ship has many excellent dining choices, like the Restaurant Picard, main dining room and buffet. Here's where you'll find self-service breakfast and lunch and full-service dinner in a setting perfect for sharing with new friends. and enjoying gourmet courses like tomato bonbon with curcuma jelly, vegetable consomme elise, savory foie ravioli, classic Dover sole a la minier, succulent lobster thermidor, and joie de vivre chocolate extravaganza with passion fruit sorbet. Just four of the salon's bar is the great Le Bistro, with its own wonderful coffee equipment. Classic banquet seating. Exquisite chandelier and tile floor. Full stand-up bar. And even more wonderful posters. Plus dishes such as tasty frise or lodums. Hearty steak au pauvre, sweet Normandy style apple tart, or also via convenient room service, sausage Toulouse, and excellent via Tolman's cheesecake. At night, Club L'Esprit becomes Claude's. For even more alternative dining, and fare that includes rosemary spiked baked camembert. Provenza vegetable gratin, a meaty duck cassoulet, dark and light chocolate mousse send off, and a final sweet tart tatin. For even more options, adjacent to Claude's is a 24 hour coffee and tea station with a fully automated machine always at the ready. The only dining room with a surcharge on board is La Cave du Van. And given it includes an interactive cooking demonstration and premium wine pairings, it's well worth it. As part of the learning process, participants get to help prepare courses like dessert. as well as look on as your chef makes the soup, showing off each ingredient along the way, before adding the finishing touches. 
and moving on to ever important classes. Sped up here, of course, for time. And getting to the best part of... Enjoying wines with Bia's favorite chicken liver pâté. The completed Normandy fish soup. Tender slow-roasted beef tenderloin with aforementioned Bernays sauce. A lovely cheese plate. And then full circle to an apple tart Normandy. Like on most riverboats, entertainment on the Joie de Vivre is understandably sparse. But a number of live musicians do come along for the ride from time to time. Some during the day while sailing. And others in the evenings. Performances are talented enough with playful guest interactions. But they're also not so much to write home about. Nonetheless, Uniworld's luxury river cruise product is exceptional overall. Thanks for watching! Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, and visit popularcruising.com.